Hey everybody, welcome back to Minnesota King Tech. I'm your host, Corey here. And today I wanted to bring you a discussion. I wanted to talk about which iPhone you should be looking to buy. Today is the first day to pre-order. It is October 16th. So today is the first day to pre-order the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 mini and the iPhone 12 Pro Max will be available to pre-order starting November 6th. And then they will ship November 13th. But I want to talk to you all about which iPhone you should be looking at since there are so many choices. Now, first up, the first question is, should you even upgrade? And if you have an iPhone 11 or iPhone 11 Pro, my, my thought process is no, you're not missing too much. Um, by if you wanted to upgrade to the iPhone 12, you're not missing too much. You're going to have the same experience pretty much. Your cameras are gonna still be really good. But if you have an iPhone 10s Max or 10s or anything later than that, I think you probably should look at upgrading for a couple of reasons. For one, you're going to notice a difference in the image quality in your pictures, especially in video as well. And then on top of that, your batteries are probably becoming a little, you know, they're becoming your batteries are degrading a little bit. So if you have an iPhone 10s or 10s Max or anything older than that. I think you should upgrade for the image quality and as well as for a better battery. Now, moving on from that, now, should which one should you choose? That's the question I've been getting a lot. For me, I think it comes down to two things. The first thing being is how much money do you want to spend? The iPhone 12 starts at $829, iPhone 12 mini starts at $699, and those are kind of, I hate to call those budget prices, but those are Apple's budget offerings besides the iPhone SE, obviously. but this cycle, these are the budget offerings. So if money is a factor, I don't think that you're gonna to gain too much by spending the extra $200. So definitely stick with those if you're on a budget and if you need a new iPhone, let's say you have like an iPhone 7, Alyssa, I'm looking at you. Um, it's time to get you a new iPhone. Then definitely look at the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini. Those are really good phones. You're still getting a really good screen. You're getting really good battery life. You're getting really good processing power and those cameras are still gonna be absolutely amazing. Now, if you're looking at the iPhone 12 Pro, I think the only time you should be looking at these is if you're absolutely 100% gonna take advantage of the cameras. The iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro, the main difference in my opinion is going to be the cameras. Now you may say, oh, well, you know, there's a better screen resolution and stuff like that. You're not gonna really notice that on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, they will have better screen resolution on the iPhone 12 Pro than the iPhone 12, but the main, the main thing you're gonna be upgrading from the 12 to the Pro 4 is for the cameras. The 12 Pro is gonna have better low light photography. It's gonna have that wide angle and the telephoto option for you. Um, you're just gonna get a lot more in the camera department. You're gonna be, be able to record 4K HDR. These are things that are not typical for the everyday person. A typical person is gonna be posting to Snapchat, posting to Instagram, posting to you know TikTok, stuff like that. And the iPhone 12 at $829 is the best option for that kind of user. Now, you may be thinking, okay, well, what if I want a bigger battery? Well, yeah, then the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which I said would be uh, available to pre-order November 6th, that's your best option for the best battery life. That's gonna have Apple's biggest battery in it. That's gonna get you the best picture quality. That's gonna get you the best image quality out of you know the camera. It's gonna have the biggest screen. I think that's the best option for the power user. Now, I've also been getting a couple questions about the iPhone 12 mini. Now, for me, I think that's best suited for people who absolutely want a smaller phone. And that's really what they're worried about. Because that phone's gonna be the most powerful phone you can get that small and it's just crazy how good the camera is going to be on it how good the process is going to be for a camera that small um, and for a phone that small sorry moving on from the iphone tw iphone 12 mini like i said i think the iphone 12 and iphone 12 mini are your best option if you're on a budget and then like i said if you're not on a budget and you're really serious about cameras the iphone 12 pro and iphone 12 pro max are going to be your best option so I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And also people, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this and leave comments if you have any questions, okay? And I will catch you all on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.